Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel of Canard Aviation. I am Captain Yash. Today we are going to see uh, how to do the registration that is pilot registration process on EGCA. So let's get into this. So here we have introduction. What is pilot registration? With pilot registration process, pilot register their details with the e-governance of civil aviation that is EGCA. Why pilot registration is required? Why it is required? Pilot get unique number or ID which is required to avail services for DGCA. You can download your medicals, you can apply for examination, you can do lot many things with your EGCA ID. So next is aspirant pilot registration prerequisites. The prerequisites for registering an aspirant pilot are mentioned here. Age must be at least 16 years. Email ID and mobile number should be valid and not already registered with EGCA. It should be fresh, a new number and a new ID. Must have at least one identity proof. We'll get into uh, details of this in the next slide. Must have at least one address proof. We'll see what are the documents required for the address proof as well in the next slide. Must have 10th mark set. The minimum educational qualification they must have cleared their 10th. Next is for the existing pilot. Existing pilot can transfer their UDAN ID that was their previous login ID to the EGCA1 and what are the documents required would be they must have their valid PMR number that is your file number one email ID and mobile number not already registered on EGC and should be valid. It must be valid and should not be used previously on EGC. Must have at least one identity proof, must have at least one address proof and must have 10th mark set or equivalent document in case 10th mark set is not applicable. Okay, so next list of accepted documents as proof of identity you can provide either one of this these documents are driving license passport your other card airport entry card issued by bcas voter id dependent card issued by defense organization your ration card if candidates photograph is printed therein if there must be your photograph should be there on that Central state government health cards with photograph of the candidate printed therein. Your PAN card, your service identity cards with photograph issued to the employees by central or state government or PSUS or public limited companies. Your health insurance smart card issued under the scheme of Ministry of Labor. Your photo passbook of running bank account, scheduled public sector banks, scheduled private sector Indian banks and regional rural banks only. These are the only bank whose passbook would be accepted but that also must have your photo on it. So next is list of acceptable documents as address proof. As an address proof you can provide either of this document. You can provide your telephone bill, your electricity bill, your other card, passport, water bill, your income tax assessment order, your election commission photo ID card, that is your voter ID, proof of gas connection, parents passport copy in case of minor. If you are minor, then you can provide your parents passport copy, first and last page, rent agreement, photo passbook of running bank, as already mentioned earlier, photo passbook would be allowed, but it should be from the schedule public sector banks either from scheduled private sector Indian banks and regional rural banks only so next is what are the basic steps so here for the aspiring pilots uh, you'll go on to EGCA website what you will do is there will be a window a display that would be showing you this option already a pilot you'll have to select no then fill personal details that will you'll have to fill your all the personal details your name your date of birth and there are many documents we'll go ahead with that 
so for the existing pilot if you are already existing pilot you had your previous udan account you will be having two options if your pmr number is validated by the system or if your pmr number is not validated by system what if it is already validated you must want to go through all your details and then click on the update button and if it is not then enter your pmr number and personal detail manually then again after this the steps for the aspirant and existing pilot would be the same upload your required documents the list of documents that we already mentioned email and mobile number validation process mobile number should not have registered earlier on this website it should be new and fresh after once it is done aspirant pilot egca id is generated and it would be in active state and for existing pilot as well id would be generated in active state so let's see this would be the first display you'll select pilot over here once you'll click submit on the sign up link then there will be this display that will uh, come up on your computer screen do you have medical file number already allotted by dgca then you'll have to click no over here then proceed to step 2 step 2 is your personal detail personal details are basically uh, your name your date of birth your gender and rest things all fields marked with star are mandatory first name your gender your nationality date of birth these are the things are mandatory you will have to compulsory fill them out next page in personal detail is your correspondence address you'll have to put your country state your building shop number area any landmark if there is any nearby pin code you can click over here that if your correspondence address and permanent address are same it will fill out automatically if they differ then you'll have to fill them manually once that is done go ahead with the step three you can proceed to step three. if you think you have to do any correction go back to step one as well now proceed with step three step three is email id and mobile verification so here you'll be providing your id proofs as well id proof that is you can select type of id whichever you are providing there will be a list of id we have already discussed earlier then over here you will have to put your id number id number that you are already going to upload on this link over here you can choose a file that file can be either jpg or pdf maximum files allowed are one and maximum size should be 40 mb make sure it is not more than 40 mb same goes for the photo and signature details you'll have to choose a photo over here and a signature over here size should be 40 jpg only allowed for the image or your photograph for signature 40 mb and type should be jpg for 10 marks it size should be 40 mb and it it is compulsory to be in a pdf format for your address proof you can provide the list of documents we have already uh, showed you earlier over here you can upload your address proof in a size of 40 mb and uh, in a pdf format only over here you can upload your correspondence address that can be same as your permanent address and it should also be of size of 40 mb and in a pdf format so over here you will be taken onto this display over here you will have to create your password over here there are instructions for how to create your password it should be of 10 characters you have to use one capital letter one number one special character out of this only you cannot use your wave or any hashtag please make sure don't accidentally leave a space at the beginning or end or in the middle putting a space is not allowed in your password make sure you are not putting a space in your password then over here you'll have to put your email id your mobile number the captcha you can as well put your alternate email id your alternate mobile number and once you'll add your mobile number otp will be sent to that there is verification of email id as well once you enter your otp for both mobile number and email id you'll again have to put captcha over here make sure captcha is correct 
then there is a declaration over here i declare and the date of declaration it will be automatically generated if not select the current date and then click on the submit application so this is how you can apply as an aspirant pilot on egca you can create your profile id let us know if you have any doubt or anything you are confused into aviation you can put a comment down in the box you can call us on this number our application links are available over here we'll put in description box as well and let us know on which topic you want our next video to be on please do like share and subscribe and let's fly high